Hey guys, so we've got the Honda GC V160 up on the bench today. It's actually Victor platform with a Honda on a engine on the top. And uh, I actually featured this in a previous video and finally got it started and running. The issue was the cable. It wasn't pulling it onto choke, so it wouldn't start and run that well. Um, I did notice that it had a little bit of a hunt at idle. Uh, it could just simply be stale fuel, but um, I do just want to run over it, do a quick service before it goes out. It gives me peace of mind and it also gives the customer peace of mind. And I'm building up my business and I want to make sure that uh, anything that I sell, I'm confident in doing so. Uh, I don't want to overlook anything because uh, there's nothing worse than them getting frustrated because the piece of equipment hasn't uh, been working properly, they bring it back to you because you haven't done your job properly. So that's what we're working on today. I'm gonna to run through the normal service. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Off we go. Start with the carb. Right, that's good. All right. Let's go do some cleaning. Oh, yeah, some crud in there, small amount. Nothing terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but it could be enough to cause a little bit of a blockage. It's the main jet, emulsion tube behind it. I'm gonna hold that up to the light now and we'll see if I can see through it. It's clear. Clear, clear, and clear. Main jet now. Oh, looks good. I can see through it. I guess if, uh, if I couldn't, it wouldn't be running, and it does run. So it's just the uh, when you reduce the idle. So the idle screws out. Now we've got this. Actually, it's. Uh, JIS screw because it's got a dot on it. Under here, that, not that you can see it, is your low speed jet. So I'm going to just put a small amount of compressed air through there, give it a bit of a spray out. So we've got three drillings in here, and they're going to be metered by this screw. If you look in here, you can see a little, a little sharp point, and well, that's your uh, the end of your adjustment screw. And you got three, ah, excuse me, three drillings below it, which is where the fuel will come out, and uh, they should all be shooting fuel. So if one of them's not, one or more is not, then you know you've got an issue. Ah, gosh. Yeah, I can actually. I'm gonna. Just get the air gun. Seat looks okay. A little bit of gunk in there, which I'll clean out. So let's put the screw back in. That's our idle. That seals off. You'd think that would have some sort of seal over it itself, but it doesn't. You think it'll allow air to come in, which is pretty strange. Anyway, it didn't come with one, so. Motion tube, main jet. There, and the bowl will be just all that's holding that in place to stop the lever coming out. Use a little bit of Thermotex sealer because we're reusing these gaskets. Oh, they're fine. I thought I saw a tiny, yeah, there's a tiny bit of tear there. No, it's not an issue. They're still flexible. They don't break. But uh, when, when, you, when I pulled them off, well, they didn't break when I pulled them off. So they're going to be reused. And also, this allows uh, much easier disassembly next time. So if you need to take it apart, if there's junk in the carb, it stops the gasket sticking, which is kind of ironic because it is an adhesive to an extent. 
or sealant, but uh, no, it certainly it does. It doesn't actually smell bad at all, which is kind of surprising, but uh, certainly fresh fuel is going to help it out here. So there we have it. Yeah, yeah, it's a yellow. It's a bit yellow. So it's not horrendous, but it's pretty bad. Right, let's have a quick look at the valves. 0.15 on intake, 0.2 on exhaust. So we need 0.15 on the intake. And she feels a touch loose. 0.2 on the exhaust. Yeah, they're actually slightly, both of them are slightly uh, loose. I'm just gonna tighten them up a touch. I'm sure Honda sells a special tool for that. Needle nose does just fine. There we go. That's nice. Nice drag. Okay. I'm not going to remove all of this gasket material. It's really not necessary. A little bit of acetone to remove some of the oil on both the cover here and uh, the mating surface. And then I'll just put some new silicon on it. So I'm just starting to go over the uh, valve cover with some Durco. I'm going to clean out the inside before it goes back. But uh, yeah, as I said, I'm not going to remove the old gasket. I'm just literally going to apply over the top. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that in this case. Right, let's pop these blades off. These are swing back blades. If you're not aware of what that is, essentially you have four blades, sometimes two, and if they hit something, they can actually, they should be able to. These are a bit rusty, so they need to be run. They actually swing back on themselves and uh, stops you damaging the crankshaft. It's a really good design. I don't know why you don't have it in the US or UK. Right, let's take the plug off. Otherwise we're gonna end up zapping ourselves. And then it might start running. Ow, got loads of ants everywhere biting us. Right, and we'll just flatten the backs. And I know it's not needed, but uh, I always put a bit of Loctite on the uh, bolt. Peace of mind, I guess. Make sure it spins before I go all the way tight. Doesn't get caught anywhere. Looks good to me. Good. Right, that's it. I can put the HT boot back on now. We are done under there. Right, before I forget, let's turn that valve on. And, uh, a little drink. Oil's fine. All the way up there. get uh, a tack reading on that because it sounds a bit slow I must be honest let's have a look that's what's come out of it it looks absolutely horrendous it looked quite good just off the dipstick but uh, that's always the way anyway let's fill it back up and uh, call it good